What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Switchback in Navisworks Manage 2025. So to those of you who are just new in Navisworks, what is Switchback? So Switchback, it enables you to select an object in Navisworks and then locate and zoom into the same project or object in the native CAD package. So let's say uh, Revit. Okay, so you can use the switchback functionality with Autodesk AutoCAD, of course Revit, uh, 3D Studio Max, Inventor, and Microsoft-based CAD product like uh, V8i. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a sample project in Revit. Okay, so let's go to Revit. So I already opened the exercise file. So this is just a sample project. So if you want to follow with me doing this exercise, you can click file and then click this arrow beside the open and then look for sample files. So you will be directed to samples folder and then these are the sample files that you can use. So in my case, I open up the structural which is this one, Snowdon Tower Sample Structural. Okay, so that you can follow me doing the exercise. So you just open that one. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export the structural model as an NWC file so I can open that in, in Navisworks. Okay, so let me just go first to the 3D view. Click that 3D view. And then let's set up the view first. Okay, so... I want to change the detail level to fine and then I also want to change the visual style to shaded view okay and then what else I don't want to to see the link model here so I'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides and then I'm gonna make sure on my model categories all the categories or all the models are selected so I'm gonna select all and then click one box here to select all of it okay click click like that just make sure it's all selected and then I don't need any annotation categories so I'm gonna uncheck that one analytical I don't need that imported I don't need any of it filters no links I don't need any filters so I can check it one by one uncheck one by one or I can just simply select all and then click one box and then it will unselect all the link model and then after that let's select ok so i only want to see my structural model okay now let me save as this project first save as the project and then not here on the sample files just go to the documents folder and then save the model there okay so let's save it okay now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to export this as an nwc file so make sure you have a navisworks 2025 exporter installed in your Revit 2025 okay so let's go to add-ins so if you properly installed it you can go to add-ins and then you can see external here so you have external tools okay so we are going to export that to Navisworks 2025 so click that and then let me just save it so I'll just put here NWC the extension file there is NWC or no, I'm not going to put NWC. It's already understood that this is NWC. Okay, so let's same name. Let's select, save, and let's just wait exporting the model. All right, so it's now saved. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you need to activate the Navisworks switchback. So to do that, go back again to external tools. You can see here Navisworks switchback 2025 or whatever version you're using. So by the way, Navisworks switchback, if I'm not mistaken, it started back in 2009. Okay. So I'm going to select Navisworks switchback to activate it. So just click that one. And there you go. So it's now activated. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Navisworks here. By the way, you can already close this uh, project file if you want. Okay. 
uh, Navisworks will automatically make Revit open the project again when we run the Navisworks in uh, when we run the switch back in Navisworks but I'm not gonna close this one so let me just go back to Navisworks there you go so I'll, don't you can close the file here the the Snowdon Tower sample structural you can close that but don't close the program okay Right, so let's go to Navisworks. All right, so let us now create a new one. Or this is a new Navisworks uh, project. So I'm going to append the model that I have, that I just exported earlier, which is uh, NWC cache file, which is this one. Okay, so let's click that and then open it. Okay, there you go. Oops. So just click this icon here, or this part of the view cube here, isometric view, to zoom in the model. Okay, there you go. Right, now, the next thing that I'm going to do is you can now select the model here. You can now select the model and then you can go now to Revit. Okay, so you, let's activate the switch back. So let's say um, you, want, you want to select this object here and then you want to see that where is it located in, in Revit. Because let's say, for example, there are some elements that's clashing with this column, or let's say you want this to be moved in na, uh, in Revit. So let's click that, and then after that, you can go to Item Tools, and then you can select Switch Back. So let's click that one, and then if you go to Revit, it's loading, and let's wait. All right, so as you can see, it's loading. And as you can see, it also created a Navisworks switchback 3D view, right? Okay. So how about I'll just go to the 3D view. <laughs> I don't want this one because it's the, the view is really messed up there. Okay. So it's actually highlighted here. But it's much better if I just go to the 3D that I have set up earlier. And you see it's highlighted there. That one. See? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the other view here. And then I'll make a side-by-side -side view of Navisworks and Revit. Okay? Right? So let's say this... I'll just select this floor. So click this one and then go to Item Tools and then go to Switch Back. And then it will load for some time. There you go. It creates again the floor plan or the 3D view there. But I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. So I'll just go here in my 3D because it's also highlighted there. So you are able to locate any selected elements that you have selected here in Navisworks back to Revit. Okay. So if ever you want to modify here in Revit, Okay, you can use your Navisworks. Okay, so let's say uh, this column here. So let's click this and then let's switch back again. Okay, so it just keeps on opening that. So again, it's highlighted here. I just can't see it properly. Okay, so that's the one, but I'll just go to the 3D here. There you go. Okay. Right? So that's how you can use your uh, uh, switchback. Okay? Just make sure that the CAD package or native CAD fa uh, package like uh, Revit is installed on the same machine as Navisworks for uh, switchback to work, obviously. And another thing is sometimes if you try to use switchback and the Revit file is not in the same location, as when it was saved there is a dialog box that will appear asking you to browse to the Revit file okay so when using switchback for the first time to load a Revit file it will create a 3d view based on the chosen projection view mode created in Navisworks that's why it creates this one so this is a perspective view right so that's why it keeps going to this uh, a view that is on perspective view but if I'm gonna change this to a orthographic view right click the view cube and then select orthographic so this is orthographic view right so if I select 
for example this floor and then click the switch back again so it will open up your orthographic view which is hopefully this one let's wait oh so it creates another uh it's always using the navis work switch back at 3d view here but as you can see it's now in uh, orthographic view so it's not in perspective view now anymore so let's uh, let's set up the Navisworks uh, switchback view. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. Same setup that I did earlier. And uncheck. Okay, filter. I don't need all the links. Okay, so, uh, so this is now. So I don't need the 3D anymore. Okay, so let's say this one. Right click. You can also right click, by the way. And then just select switchback. Okay, because a while ago, what we are doing is we select column and then go to item tools and then click switch back. But you can actually select the object, right click, and then select switch back. Click that. And then let's wait. There you go. Okay. So I think it would be better if I change the color from blue to red. Okay. Uh, colors for my uh, selection. So instead of blue, I'll just change that to red. And then pre-selection, maybe I'll change this to green. Okay. Right. Or maybe I'll change that to blue. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's try. So I click this floor. Right click. Uh, switch back. There you go. Okay. So you are now able to locate the object selected in Navisworks to our Revit. Uh, view okay and then if you want to edit your revit model so make sure you re-export the file you close this close this okay and then close your navis works and then export again your revit model to a uh, nwc file so you can override the old nwc file of the structural model and then uh, uh, save this one first and then close this file so you can save it as a nwf or nwd and then after you save and close the file you can re-export the model to nwc and then after that you can uh, go back to your navisworks and then open the project and then you, you will be able to see the changes or updated model of the structural model okay so but that's how you use your uh, switch back. Okay, so let's click, right click, switch back. There you go. Okay. All right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.